Writer-director Matt Savile just said that you did the worst audition you'd ever seen in 10 years, but you did really well in the workshop. Do, why were you so ill-prepared for the audition? I think it was at least 10 years. Um, I, I don't know. Like, I, I was just, yeah, uh, palpably unprepared, I think. It was, I was terribly unprepared. I don't know. I, I, I'm usually very good with auditions, especially for lead roles for films, and, and I think I prepared so well for a few film auditions that I got close to and I didn't get them, and... And when I first read the script, I'll tell you the truth here, I didn't really get it. Like, there was a lot of big print, and I find film scripts quite hard to read because they're very much about the author's imagination, not just their voice. I read a play or a novel, I can pick it up through the dialogue. And with the film, it's, it's all imagery, and I don't think I'm a very visual person, and I find that the structure of screenplays hard to read. And so I, I, wasn't, I was generally not that enthusiastic, really, about the project. Which so, is like being a method actor because it does fit in with the kind of character well, you play. Well, that's what he said. I came in, I didn't know the lines, but I kind of improvised my own monologue about life and death in front of them. And I had only had a couple of hours sleep and I might have had, you know, a Chardonnay or two uh, the night before. But I kind of just, I got Matt's vibe straight away and then I kind of just let loose and, and he said to me when he cast me, but he didn't give me the role after that. I had to go down and do a five-day workshop and that's when I clicked in. 